Alright guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to um, make a camera rig and that's basically a custom camera for your uh, character for either a first person perspective um, view or a um, third person perspective view. So let's um, start and uh, I will be showing you the logic on how to make it turn uh, left and right and then, uh, then we'll go from there. Alright, so First, put your grid snap on, and we are going to uh, go into our modes, get a sculpt out, go into tools, stamp, uh, stamp that in there, L1 circle scrolls out, L1 down on the D-pad will make them, the grid snaps a little smaller, so just duplicate that or clone it. Um, and highlight both of them we want to group them all right so what we're going to want here is two microchips so go into logic and processing get yourself a microchip l1 will snap it to it that one will snap it to it all right so what we're going to need in this is our camera all right so that is going to be in cameras and lighting camera all right so l1 square opens it so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this and turn it to face straight on all right oh we can exit this out now All right, L1 down on the D-pad will make it smaller so we can center it right in the middle. Uh, all right, and then L1X on this will show you the view of, you know, your camera. Don't mind that, um, you know, transparent view. You're actually just seeing the square um, or the sculpt. We'll actually get rid of that later on. Um, so anyways, all right, so what I did here was, so we don't really need this anymore. So we'll exit that out. We'll open this up, L1X. And what I did here was I already, I already got the um, microchips ready and I'm just gonna transfer them from here to here. So what you're gonna need is a controller sensor, right? And this controller sensor Oh, I actually don't know why I already connected that, so we don't want to connect that. All right, and then you're going to need a splitter, all right? So get yourself a splitter. All right, and then L1 square will open this up, all right? So, so on this page three, you want the right stick local, and this will... Um, when you plug this into the splitter, and this is what I learned about the splitters, it actually is going to give you the X and Y. So the X and the Y, so the Y is going to give you the basically the left and right up and down. All right. So the X is the left and right. See if you hover over it, and then the Y is the up and down. All right. So now we can exit that out. We don't need that right this second. Oh, actually, what you're going to need on here still is go into this little imp guy, and this is remote controllable. Click on that. All right. And then we'll go into greater detail where all this is. All right. So take this. You want a variable, right? That's in your logic and processing. All right. And then you're going to want a variable modifier. We're going to stick this here. And what we want is this variable to be called turn speed. All right. And then we want this to be about, we'll give it around 70 speed. And then I'll show you what that does. 
all right so I mean this is again this is gonna be preference for what you want um so for right now 70 is good you know and you can mess around with it and I'll show you um, you know when we get there you'll see where, where when you can mess around with it all right and so this you're gonna want this to be the same name as this and you want to get this variable so you want to get all right and then you can type it in or you can hit up on the d-pad or down on the d-pad and it'll just grab the variable it'll grab all the variables in the scene um, a lot quicker all right so all right so we have that the next thing we're gonna want is we're gonna want this a calculator all right and actually I'm gonna I'll show you without the calculator and that stuff right now so there's a couple of ways you can do this all right so so you're gonna want the X into this Y axis speed all right all right so now if we go into this and we bring this down to zero this down to zero and we let's see what happens here now see if you turn it left and right it gives you the 192, 185 alright so let's see if that works so far all right, see, so now if you turn it left and right, it goes all the way around. All right, you still got your imp there. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's exactly what we want so far, all right? But it's actually, if you notice, it's going the opposite way, left and right. So when you go right, it goes left, and when you go left on the D-pad, it goes right. And it actually doesn't completely stop when you want it to stop. All right, so there's a few things that we'll we'll mess around with that. All right, so now if I were to have dragged this this way and then took this and went this way with it, it would give you the right. Um, now if you went right, it'd go right, and it'd go left. It would go left. And then if you you know you can do it that way, but you know we want to be able to have a little more flexibility with it. So. What we'll do is we'll take this, bring this back down to zero. And you know, and you can do it that way, right? But again, what we want to do is want to make this so we can easily, you know, here's the speed, 70 speed. Alright, so our calculator you want to times this. So so we want to triangle we'll delete this. So we're gonna X into this actually let's get this out of here so x will go into a and then variable value will go into b all right so basically what's going to happen here is all right so we're going to get this we're going to take this and put this into the now it has its zero right but we need to give it something so again plus makes it go the wrong way or, or kind of inverted but we don't want it inverted so we want to do minus so if so the point it basically is for whatever one basically 70 times one is basic math is 70 so if we go right wait that's way off that is wrong because what did I do here 70 times what happened there Wait, it's going crazy, crazy fast. Calculator X variable modifier. Why are you doing that? That is really weird. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't reset it. That's why. No, it's still not. Why is it doing that? Do we need these to be? Forget rotation strength. Are these all supposed to be like this? Hmm, that's weird. Shit, I was doing so good with this. 
what happened? What did I do? Calculators times. Let's see what happens if I go. If I can go super fast, yeah. That's definitely not right. Hmm. That's really weird. Oh, see, there it is. That's weird. It's if you un un for some reason because I didn't reset everything and the game was still being played. Um, you have to like you know hit the reset button on on when you're playing, and then it basically it's like I don't know if it's a bug or it's what it is. But all right, and that's I was, I could redo the video, but I think it's bet better to leave that in there. So if if you're ever like connect stuff, just unconnect it and then reconnect it and then it should you know sometimes that will fix it so all right so where we were where we where were we all right so we basically collect the results into there all right so basically like i said it's basic math 70 times the one that we put in there gives us 70 and it's a little off on something when you go the other way or whatever but it's basically right around that so again we can show you that and you know it's kind of slow but it definitely is what we want and to get rid of this um what we'll do is go into your sculpt l1 um you're gonna want to uh scope in and then l1 square and then go to the make it not visible all right, so and we'll do the other one for that. Oh no, uh, yes, perfect. All right, so so now, now you can see now it's clear. And again, we'd want it to be a little bit faster. So what we'll do is, again, just we're gonna add two to this. I'm gonna leave this at that too, and then you can literally just keep adding turn speed to here, and then that'll switch it and make it faster or slower. Um, all right, that's a good speed, all right? But if you notice, it kind of drags. It doesn't stop when you want it to. So what you're going to want is we're going to want a rotator. So we'll take this rotator, put it there. And then basically want dampening all the way up to 100. So that should make it work. But what's happening is it's dampening on the wrong. It's dampening down. So. Why is it drifting? Why are you drifting? Am I doing it wrong? You are totally drifting wrong. Oh, get this down to zero. Yeah, that should work fine. Yep, perfect. All right, so now see it literally will, it just, when you let off the trigger, it stops. All right. All right, what else did I want to say? And that's the first part, but I did want to say something about, I guess I explained everything pretty good. Um. All right, yeah, I mean, that's the first part. Um, hopefully you guys were, you know, able to follow along. Um, and the next part, we'll do the camera rig where we do the um, up and down, you know, look up, look down. And then we'll add it to the character and all that. Um, yeah, um, again, let me know if... Um,
you know, if this was helpful, if you guys were able to follow along, fine. Um, and, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.